Well, thank you for joining us on our journey as we continue to bring the homestead to life here here in our new homestead in Florida. And today's kind of a cool day because we, we've really been looking forward to this one. We're gonna start our coil pen. <music> This video is setting up quail pen, quail setup part one of five. Well, welcome back friends. Right here is one of our horse stalls. We have four horse stalls and on this, this horse stall right here, we're gonna convert it into our quail pen. If you'll come on in, I'll let you take a look at what we got going on in here. Come on in. Well, this is the inside of this one horse stall. And if you take a look around, you can see it's, it's actually a pretty good sized little space that we're gonna be able to convert into uh, uh, our coil pens. This way I can keep my hutches inside without having to waterproof, I put a waterproof roof over the thing or, and I can keep them out of the weather. It's, in, it's a lot cooler inside the barn. So I think the quail's going to really thank me for doing this one day, right up until the day I harvest him. But the rest of his life is going to be an awesome life for him. But anyway, here's um, a look at what we got. I got a, um, two nice big windows right here and uh, on each side. And then I have a third window that's in the barn tunnel. I, I'm not even gonna have to wire these in. I'm gonna just leave them wide open the way they are because I wanna be able to get fresh air in here. And also the way that I'm gonna build my hutch, the wired end of the hutch, the open end of the hutch will be right at the level of these windows so they can look out and watch me mow the grass and wave to me when I ride by. So. This gives them a little feel of being outside, but still being inside. It makes them happier. I think it'll be good for them. Um, what I am going to do with these windows, instead of wiring them in, I'm going to make some shutters that I can slide back and forth here because the hutch will be here. So I can't make doors shutters that open and shut like this. So I'm going to make sliders. And it's just a simple plywood sl sliding door so I can um, open it. And if in case of severe thunderstorms are coming or hurricanes or anything like that, which we get a lot of here in Florida, I can secure these windows just to kind of close them in a little bit better so the winds and the rain's not blowing in on them. And they have a closed end of their huts where if it is raining, just a plain old afternoon shower, it's not going to get them wet because of the overhang of the barn. And they can also go down into the enclosed area of the hutch and snuggle up in there and just enjoy the day. So this is uh, the only thing I'm going to have to do is build these sliders and then I'm going to build two foundations down here on the floor of the um, of the stall so I can get this level so when I set the hutches in they hit this this window seal just about right for them so I'm gonna get started today clean out some of the junk that I have piled up in here I'm gonna clear out the stall I'm gonna build the foundations I'm gonna insert the foundations here and concrete them in because I want them to stay nice and stable forever. So I'm going to concrete my foundations in and at that point um, I'll be ready to head over to the shop and start fabricating the, the hutches. So let's get busy.
Well, we thank you for joining in with us on this uh, little project of getting the quail pen uh, ready for the hutches. So we got the foundations and the sliding windows ready. So it's off to the shop so I can start putting them hutches together. So we thank you for watching. Stick with us in the journey ahead as you see this quail pen coming back to life a little bit more, a piece at a time. And uh, we'll head over to the shop and we'll keep your eyes peeled for the next video coming out which will show us uh, fabricating the, um, the quail hutches and eventually getting them out here in place. So if you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel, be a part of our homestead family. And so until me and Nancy see you next time, always remember, by his Amen. hands we are fed. Give us, Lord, our daily bread. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed day. Thank you for watching our videos. We love making them. If you like our videos, we ask you to partner with us in our mission by sharing our videos from YouTube and post from Facebook to all social medias. It really inspires and encourages us. Some great places to share is Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Please like if you like this video, subscribe, click the notification button so you never miss another video. Click below for products we used in the videos and you could also partner with us without spending a penny. We welcome your encouraging comments, prayers and questions. And thank you for watching and sharing our videos and posts. Have a blessed day.